Hello and welcome to a new video about Primatics. This time we are going to talk about pressure regulating valves. Usually compressors deliver higher pressure than we are using in our system. So we have to reduce the, the pressure used and keep it as constant as possible. You know, pressures in, in the from the compressor might also be have peaks pa, 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 somehow and so on and it would be nice or beneficial that we have a constant pressure and there might also be some you know uh, a tank huh, where we accumulate the air Pff, searching for words here huh? so there might be also be some pressure accumulator where we just blow in the air and then the compressor can be in standstill. We work from the, this tank, from this reservoir, compressed air reservoir, and after the pressure dropped in the air reservoir to a lower level, we turn on the compressor again. Yeah? However, the working pressure shall not change with the change of the content of the, of, of the accumulator. It shall remain constant. So we have to reduce the pressure from the accumulator somehow and therefore pressure regulating valves are used. Now, how are pressure regulating valves working? I will try to draw this. Hopefully I can. Basically there is an intake And there is an there is an regulated pressure side. Okay. Looking like this basically. This is how this this is how this looks like, close to. So here, here we have the intake and here we have the, out, the output. In between, in between, we have some sort of, of ceiling here. If it is like that, there's also a spring there. If it is like that, It is closed. The intake pressure, the out, the output is separated from the intake. Okay. What else do we have? We have a rod. We have a rod, which is, and now there is some sort of membrane here, which can be moved. Let's see if I can if I can manage to to draw this. So this is this is all connected to each other on the second side. And above here, above here. We have also a spring. I'll draw it this way. Here we have also a spring. And this spring can be adjusted. The tension of the spring can be adjusted with some handle over here. Yeah? Turning knob. With this turning knob I can tighten or loosen the, the spring, the load of the spring. This is somehow, this is somehow here in a casing like this. Okay. And that's basically it. Now what is happening? What is happening? Oh, 
let me explain. Yeah? So here we have a pressure P1, which is high. Here we have a pressure P2, which shall be constant, remain constant. Okay? This membrane here is separating, looking like this, this is separating this area from this area. So here the pressure P2 is, is the counterpart, the counter value force of the force of the spring. Okay? So if P2 is now dropping, getting less, the spring has the same amount of tension and the spring will mm, stretch. Okay? If the spring is stretching, it will move this, this membrane. Yeah? This membrane over this rod will move this blade and here we are opening. Okay? Now the pressure dropped and P1 gets connected to P2. Now this pressure here is rising because P1 is higher than P2. This pressure is rising. So the force from the down, from the side, from the pressure side to on this membrane will get higher and will close, will get, will win again, will win again against the spring yeah? and this will close again. And so we do have then a certain balance yeah? that here this opening is just big enough to maintain the pressure here. If then there is no pressure used here, we will simply poof, close. Yeah? And then we are sealed. If then there is again some pressure used, some air is used, then we just will open enough that the pressure will remain constant. This membrane and those springs, they are balancing this. With the turn of the knob, I can tighten or loose the spring and therefore I can adjust the pressure on this side. That's it. So there is a spring inside, which I can adjust the tension and this is the counterpart to the pressure value. The area here is a certain area that the all the strings, springs and, and the pressure forces are balancing each other and then this, this valve here will reach a certain opening. However, it might be the case that due to whatever reason, due to whatever reason, the pressure here is rising. How can this be? I mean, usually we use pressure, we use air here. Yeah? However, think about uh, a piston. Yeah? There is a piston and this piston has moved out and suddenly a big load is pushing the piston back in. So it might happen that here on this side, because of external effects, yeah, the pressure is rising. <laughs> what is happening then? If the pressure here is rising, yeah, then this membrane will bend the other side yeah, and this membrane usually has here a little hole inside. Yeah, so there is a little hole yeah, and this little hole is now moved away from this rod before the rod was sealing, the, the, this green rod here was sealing the little hole and now it moved away yeah? and suddenly there's a little hole in the membrane and air pff, can blow out from this hole and there are also channels somewhere here yeah? where the air can whoop, exhaust. Yeah? So even in case we have a sudden pressure rise on this side it will simply blow off here at the pressure regulating valve. So this is also this is also working. Huh? Usually this side here is called the one side, yeah? one connector. This is the two connector. And this, even if you usually don't see it, this is three, this is the exhaust, exhaust air. Okay? 
this is how a pressure regulating valve is working. Symbol of the pressure regulating valve looking like this. We have here the one, we have here the two, we have here a spring which is adjustable. Okay, then we do have a connection here where the spring might open or close it. Okay. And the counterpart of the string is pressure number two. So here is the measurement line and this is the pressure number two side is counterpart of the spring and this will open or close the valve. So this is the symbol. Okay, this is the symbol of the pressure regulating valve. Very important, very important device. Like I said, here the pressure is higher and can change. Here pressure is constant. Regulating via the mechanism I just told you. So now we've compressed air. We have clean air because we filtered it. We have constant pressure yeah, because we regulated it. Next time we're going to talk about uh, oiling the air. Now we cleaned it and now we oil it. Why we're doing that? We will hear. Yeah, next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.